Hey, what's up, guys? It's X Two Rabby Two X here. I'm back with some Minecraft modding made easy. I know I haven't I haven't made one of these in a pretty long time, but I'm kind of focused more on my YouTube channel now. But I will still be making mod tutorials, and I uh, trust me, I want to make a lot more. I'm yeah, I just I love modding, so that's it. But um, today's tutorial is going to be on uh, making monsters or mobs drop more than one item at a time. I've got this suggestion. Um, I don't know, I think it was today, and I liked it, so I just wanted to make a quick tutorial on it, it's, like I said, it's really, really quick. So, pretty much like I've been teaching you this whole time in mining tutorials is that everything you would want that you can already see in game, you can find in some other classes. So, what I did for this is I just looked in EntityKyle.java, and I saw that there's a method here called Drop Few Items. And here it shows how it drops beef and how it drops um, just uncooked, I mean raw and cooked beef. And then also drops leather. So that's the method that we're going to want to override in our mob class. So go ahead and copy that. In our entity blocky monster, we're going to just uh, go ahead and paste that method in. And we're going to want to change this up a bit. So let's get to it, I guess. Um... It says, um, uh, so basically, we've worked with random integers before, and this pretty much shows, like, how often does it drop, and for now, I mean, if you want to, if you want more of the random integers, just look down in the get drop item ID method, but for now, I'm not going to really go over it. What I do want to go over, though, is, well, let me actually... Mm, so let's just delete all the code that's not dropping items. And I want to go a little over the entity conditions. So like you see right here, is burning, that's a condition. And you can actually make some pretty cool, uh, uh, like, I think you call it like tactics, <laughs> or something like that, to kill mobs. So like for example, you can make your mob so every time it is killed by fire or is burning, um, you can make it drop a certain thing. So I mean let's let's go ahead and do that. So drop item, let's do um diamond. So it's gonna drop a diamond, but if it's burning, whoops. If is burning, then it's gonna drop what should it drop? It's gonna drop um it's gonna drop another diamond. Well actually I think this is the item stack, but I'm not sure. So let's just go ahead and let's go ahead and put five in there. So if, if you kill it with fire, it drops five diamonds. And also let's make a drop. What else should we make a drop? Um drop item item dot um hmm. I don't know, item dot let's go underscore blockium dot blockium amulet dot shifted index. So this is pretty much gonna give us our own amulet. Oops. Let's get one of these. It's going to give us our own amulet that spawns this monster. And just f just if we don't kill it with fire, let's go ahead and make it drop. Drop item. Item dot. Um, hmm. Apple gold. That's That works. That shifted index. Let's make it drop one of those. So basically, you can find these conditions, like is burning in your entity.java class. And there's a few of them here. So like, let's see. On the right side of uh, Eclipse, you can find all the methods. And let's go, let's see. Um, what do we have here? Pretty much is. If it starts with is, it's a condition. So is wet. Uh, I'm guessing that's just the, can lightning strike at? Huh. I don't know what density that's used for, but that looks kind of interesting. <laughs> so if is in water. If the entity is in water, that's a condition. Um, I think there's not many of them, but I mean, you can use them if you're, uh, if you're creative or something. You can make some pretty cool mobs with that. Uh, there's some for is burning and, uh, is riding. I think these are for the empty player, but, you know, there's not, I guess there's not that many. There's one, like, is in web, I think, so if it's stuck in web. But, yeah, there's not that many of them, but you can, it's like, basically, if water and burning... You can make some pretty cool tactic, tactics for that. So you can make a mob that, like, normally would just drop some dirt or something. 
But if you kill it in a special way, you know, it drops something good. So, uh, we're just going to make this monster drop diamond and gold apple if it dies normally. Or if it's burning, we're going to make it drop diamonds and block him amulet. Let's go ahead and save this. Oh, let me go back to my... Oh, yeah, we already are in our monster class. Uh, let's go in here and let's set the health down to 2. I think I set it up high for uh, debugging. <coughs> Excuse me. So if we go ahead in our creative world. And I will also be doing my next tutorial is going to be on how to create blocks be on the top level like grass. And also how to make biome specific blocks like uh, like sand or dirt or you know or grass or stuff like that. What? How did I? How did I spawn? Oh yeah, don't don't mind the under um, blocks. They're kind of. Um, you could say I'm kind of in progress on another mod. We can see our blocking stuff down there. There's the under blocks. Don't. Like I said, don't don't mind that. So let's get us some um, blocky amulets. Yes, I actually have a lot of mods in progress, which is not a good thing. I'm trying to stay away from actually modding myself, and I'm just kind of focused on doing doing these tutorials. So you guys can mod, but you know I don't I don't really have time to keep up with the updates and upkeep of a mod myself. So I'd rather just have other people make mods. So when he drops, he drops, what did he drop? Um, if we get out a crafting bench, we can see. He dropped six diamonds, oh yeah, one diamond, okay, alright. Six diamonds and a golden apple. Hmm. Oh yeah, because he was, okay, that makes sense. He dropped a Lockheed amulet, diamond, and golden apple. So that, that makes sense. Because... <laughs> He is burning also and just dying by himself. <laughs> that's gonna hurt. So yeah. We can back out of that and that's pretty much it. I mean this is kind of like a shorter tutorial than normal. But that's how you can make a monster drop different items. For example, like this, if it just dies at any time, it drops a diamond and an apple. And then if it's also burning while it's dying, it can drop this. Now again, you can give it different drop rates by using the random um, generators, next int, you know, whatever you want to make it, and that's that. Um, last thing I want to tell you guys is <coughs> I am really surprised by how popular this series got and is going, I guess. And I actually searched x 2 rob 2 x on um, minecraftform.net on the whole form, and I actually found it really, I don't know, kind of funny and kind of awesome that there was a lot of threads like mentioning me like oh hey if you want to look at my tutorial check out this guy I just want to thank you guys for I mean I, yeah I just want to thank you guys for doing that for me for like make advertising me and whatnot and I actually saw some threads where people have tried to steal my code for their uh, for their mod and then like the people that actually knew my knew my mod or knew my tutorials were just like hey that's not your code what are you doing and I, I'll, yeah, that's what I found funny, and I, I think it's just great. So, yeah, thanks for that. And the code for this, or for the whole tutorials, I will make a another code um, source thing today. It'll be available for download by the time you see this, um, you see this uh, tutorial up on YouTube. So, if you're checking this tutorial out and want the source code, go check out the MinecraftForm.net link down in the description and look out for that code download and i think that's it so make sure to leave your likes and comments down below all the suggestions and errors go on the minecraft forum topic and thanks for watching see you